Okay, welcome everyone to another Chaos Africa meeting. It's really nice to see a lot of people, and I'm so happy that a lot of people got to join. Can anyone see my screen? Yes. Okay. Um. So the question of the week is, if you could have any celebrity over for dinner, who would it be and why? Ooh. That's the question of the week. So if you don't have, can someone paste like the meeting minutes in the chat too for all our people to assess it? Please add your name and tell us um what celebrity you could have over for dinner. For me, I think uh celebrity, I think Beyonce. <laughs> That's for me. Um <laughs> that's that's the word for me though. Um why? I don't I don't really have because she's like I just want to have a chat with the queen. So yeah. Um I see some other people, Frederick. Um uh, Lamy says Frederick, uh Calsham Scott. I don't even know all these people. I think I said Asha. Yeah, that's like Doja Cats. Anita says Doja Cats. I like her song. Ruth, Ruth, could you make your 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 screen um could you zoom in because um you oh, must you be can't... having a very long um yeah. uh, monitor i'm so sorry Are you i've seen always that? wondered how long your monitor is yeah it's it's uh i think how many inches is it I think okay it's, okay it's yeah now that's clear okay. is it clear yeah it's yeah, 34 yeah, yeah. uh is it 34 inch monitor and the curved screen i think that's why Oh, that's long. I have a 24. That's 10 more inches. <laughs> okay. Um, so Anita is our facilitator today. So I'm just going to, she's here already. So I'm just going to hand over to her. So we go into the agenda of the day. Um I see some people are still joining in. Hi, Ida. Ida, Ida is here. Hi, Ida. Can you hear me, Ida? Hey, sorry. Hi, Ruth. Good Yeah, thank you for joining us. So Ida is joining us from Cameroon. Um, so thank you, Ida, for joining. Really do appreciate that. Welcome to Chaos Africa too. Thank you too for having me. Um, sure. hi everyone. Okay, um, Anita, back to you. All right. Um, hey everyone. Um, it's good to see you all here today again. I see I like the numbers, <laughs> to be very honest. So uh, on today's agenda, we have like um a few topics that could definitely lead to something broader. So let's get started already. First is um the journey in chaos. So we're going to be hearing more on this from Precious and Ruth. Sure. Um so I think for this um part of why I have been really reminding everyone to be in this meeting, like I've been putting in reminders, is because I kind of like want to bring everybody together and we share stories of people that have been contributing to chaos and for a while and how they have how it has kind of like helped them, you know, 10 minutes, a 10 minute story so that it can motivate you as well, regardless of where you are in your open source journey, um, to contribute and you know um to get motivated to see how open source kind of like helps people in their career so that's why we are going to be doing this in a couple of for a couple of meetings so today we are starting with precious and uh, me as well precious is a an outreach student here at chaos so i think precious is on the call so yeah precious please tell us about how you found chaos and you know what you're doing now and the future plans then i'll take over then we move to the next agenda item hi everyone mm. hi Chris. i can hear you okay my name is precious and like we've already said i am an outreach intern and i'm contributing to documentation so okay i found out about chaos through outreach like what outreach does is once you pass the the approval stage, they make a list of organizations that you can decide to work with. So 
when I read Chaos's description, I think. Yeah, she does, please. No. Zoom it. Um, the, sorry. Okay. My mistake. Yeah, you can go ahead, Precious. Okay. So it was the description was how to make like was um diversity, equity, and inclusivity. Yeah. So it was it was a very interesting topic, Sha, because I don't think I've ever seen I don't think it was something that could be a metric. But so I signed up because I wanted to know about it. And then um I joined the community, spoke to Sean and Elizabeth because they were like the designated mentors. And like it was a little hard for me to understand at the beginning, like to find my feet because you had to keep on what exactly do they mean by inclusivity? Uh, what exactly the new, new chaos is to measure like the whole purpose of the of chaos is like measuring community health trying to make sure that open source is healthy by it's more it's accepting to yeah like the community on its own i think what i'm noticing about chaos let me, let me see should i leave and join back again I think you can go ahead. I think I can hear you now. Okay. So chaos is something is that omission that is um, particular about community health and open source contribution. And if you check it, there are not a lot of organizations that worry about that give that metric a lot of time. So initially I don't understand how that was something that could be a measure. That could be a metric or that could be that could be very effective. Like how, what kind of effects does it have as maintainers and as contributors? But as I've stayed longer in the community, I realized that somehow subconsciously, I'm a little bit more, if, if, if I want to do something, I'm always checking, are they more inclusive? Are they diverse? And um, it's, it, it's, just, it's just really cool. And then maybe when you read through some of the metrics, you see that they have this, um, this thing where they try to check that people, where people of all kinds of abilities like maybe caregivers pregnant mothers um, people who are nursing people who have some kind of disability if maybe whatever metric they decide to work with if the software they build if they are if it's inclusive to these people so initially i it was hard for me to understand all these things i can it took a while for me to find my feet but um, the designated mentors were really cool and they were chill with everything. And you can always ask any other person in the community for help. So um, my work was to contribute to documentation. And when when I start, <laughs> when I started setting up software every single thing, see, yeah, the point is, if you're starting the beginning part, it's I think it's very relatable and it's very fine if maybe you have you have problem understanding certain things. So it's it's okay if you have problem understanding certain things when you are starting. But as you continue, it must it must not necessarily click at the time. But after a while, I remember like when I joined recently, Roots was like the only over time, like since this last three months, with the amount of Africans in chaos community has actually grown a lot. So that's something that we have to attribute to Roots because she's like one of the she's been the one like gingering it a lot. So yeah, please thumbs up for Roots. Anyway, I remember seeing her the first time and texting her and I was asking her like for help. Um she said, please help me out, like explain certain things, what does badging mean. What does the metric mean? What does it mean to badge events or badge setting metrics or anything? So um I started contributing to documentation, like reading it, trying to make sure this be inclusive, trying to make sure that the 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 way the sentences are structured are a little easier to understand. And there's obviously still more work to be done. And I think even as I'm ending my internship, I'm starting to realize that there's more that I could do. So, but it's not it's not the same since when I started and um, now. So there's been some kind of improvement. It's me trying to make sure that oh I'm a little more inclusive in whatever I do these days. Me trying to factor in a lot of different kinds of people, like knowing that wait, it's not just me that is going to be reading the documentation, or it's not just me that is going to be doing this. So just you understanding that the organization is diverse and yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I think I've spoken past like, ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, but that was a great story. 
And yeah, um, I would like to ask some questions though. Uh, sorry, I don't know if I'm ask questions about that out with you. Okay, yeah, you can go ahead and ask. I think someone has uh, a question. I I did my research about this and it seems um it is predominantly meant for female. I I guess so. No. Okay. Um, it's not, not that's not true. It's not predom. It's mainly meant for underrepresented people, right? And there has I've I, I know males that have you know gotten out to internship. Even there's someone when I came into chaos. That's when I'm going to like share that story of how I found chaos. Um, the person that was contributing to chaos, the Nigerian, uh, was an outreach student. Um, Tola, his name, his name is Tola. So he was an outreach student. So I've seen uh males that are so that should not do not that's a misconception. So you 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 should still apply. Do not let that um disturb you. It's for I represented I people. To, I might need to reach out to Precious. Maybe she's going to explain some things to me on how to go about the process to sure. Precious. Yeah, you can. Uh, it's like my dear is very accessible. You can ask me anything what to ask about how to choose, right? I, I I would like to ask how to go about the the registration process in a way like to be like you'd be sure to to be taken in as an intern or something. Okay. Yeah, like, you can ask Precious on like via DM later on. Yeah, exactly. So not like cover chaos on them. You can always DM me or help out. How do I do that? So um, let me think. Uh, I just reach out to I Slack. Or Slack or in, I don't know. On yeah, Slack, yeah, on right? Slack channel okay. now, yeah? Are you know on Slack channel? You can just drop a message back. Yeah, it's the same name there. Well, let me type it here just in case. All right, thank you. Oh, while these discussions were going on, I had a thought. So okay. um, um, on today's um, discussion, question of the day, we asked for celebrities. So how about next next week, we asked which um, country in Africa each attendee is from. But before we do that, we're going to have to do like a, a mini assignment. Every person invites someone that is not from their country to the chaos commun um, Africa community next um, in our next meeting. So um, every single person that is coming, make sure you make a friend that is not from your country that you do definitely want the person to tag along with in the next call. So we're going to see how many attendees turn up. And then the question for the day should be, which country are you joining us from? And who invited you so that you're not claim another yes. person? <laughs> and who invited you? Very, very, very nice. Well, you have to use Twitter. I think that's why it's assignment. Uh -huh. Assignment is really more tedious than the classwork. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Twitter should help you out. Okay. Um. So on to the next topic. Um. I don't think Ruth has said her story yet, and definitely, I'm sure we we'll all want to hear her story. <laughs> Ruth, are you still up to share your story? Looks like Ruth has left because I just became host here. I'll check through the participants and see. Okay, um, I think she got disconnected. So we'll move on to the next. Oh. Um, yes. Yeah, she's. Um, I think she got she's disconnected. All right. Um. So the the next agenda is um the. Um, new chaos africa logo so the last time we had like a lot of options that we're contemplating on which is a preferred logo and we finally came to an agreement for a particular logo that uh, means there anyone on the call that has a link to this so we can attach it to this particular chat um since Ruth is not here, maybe you could share your screen or I can actually do mine. But um, right. that would be long. You can share yours. Uh, let me see if the permissions are. I don't are. have the link to that particular um, logo. So if you can share it here, I'll definitely. No, 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 no. I meant um, the minutes Um, since Ruth was sharing her right. screen and she left. OK. But if um, the link is not here, I think Ruth is the one taking that. 
supposed to point us to this. But we finally um, agreed on a logo option. So we we'll definitely be, um, I wait for Ruth to jump back on the call, then she'll share the link for that. So um, the, on the next agenda, we have setting up focus mini meetings. And um, does anyone have anything to say about this agenda? Okay. Um, good afternoon, everyone. So, of course, if you're in Nigeria. <laughs> good afternoon. So, um, I think about um uh, about the focus groups that maybe I can speak for design. Um, so I think it's just majorly about uh, because we mentioned a couple of um we suggested of course I think one of our first meetings that we have these subgroups you know, maybe writers, designers, you know, developers and all that go have, you know, like small groups. And um, maybe um, among them now, probably decide on, I don't know if Ruth will have to do that, but kind of decide on who kind of champion the kind of affairs of the group and stuff. So um, uh, at the moment, you know, for me, I, I think I'm kind of like managing that for design, but then I know we've not really had meetings. So maybe this is kind of like a call for subgroups to have, you know, meetings. I don't know if that's going to be, weekly i think should be decided by the subgroup right so for design I, I know i work with delight and um i don't know who else on this call like kind of design because um at the moment i know of delight and wolu I, i'm not sure wolu is here to check um Delight, is there any other designer on the call you know of, please? Um, actually, I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, yeah, yeah. What would you do? What would you do? I don't know. Yeah. I don't think so. Sorry. Okay. Um, my, my network went off. I'm so sorry. Okay, so someone is asking. Welcome, Ruth. So someone is yeah. asking. Um, the focus group available so i don't know if you can mention that though no. yeah um about the focus one's asking what um so okay um let me Any designers for the design focus groups here and um, the bi-weekly meetings i mean they're considering either bi-weekly meetings or like weekly meetings for the mini um, focus groups Okay, just give me a minute. Let me. I'm joining in with Chaos Africa, so I don't interrupt. Okay, um, I will share the link to the focus groups. I think someone is asking for the link. Yeah, can everyone hear me? Yes. Okay, great. I've fixed everything. <laughs> Um, so about the focus groups, um, we initially had like meetings um, the first time we set it up and then some people are working on stuff. So um, we just have unofficial random meetings. Um, what focus group is the person asking for? Mm. I think what um, Kinsley was, was trying to say was what is part of the meeting. The agenda was like time, setting up a date and time for the focus group meeting or change. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, that was what was on the agenda. So what I wanted yeah. to talk about there was um, if you're not in any group, um, you should indicate, right? We have like, there are like five groups. Um, for Can you the drop to the... Um, respective focus groups again i think yes. someone is asking for the link okay i would i'll drop it on the slack it's we have like groups in the slack like slack groups so i'll just drop it on the slack after this meeting so just indicates what um focus group you are on if you scroll up the page you'd see you see a you'd see a um doc that has focus groups like up the page
Okay, and um, the next question is um, the time, the meeting times. Okay, yeah, for the meeting times, like I, like we just have random meetings. For the design group, we've been working on like the badging website. So Kinsley is in charge of that. So we usually just have um, random meetings where um, if we need to, if we need to review something, we have a meeting. So there's no like set time. So the only set time meeting is this meeting that happens bi-weekly. There's no like set time for um, the focus group meetings. I should have rephrased that um, setting up focus group mini meetings. We just do it randomly. So you can indicate what group on the on the doc that you want to join, and I'll just add you to the Slack group, and we can randomly set meetings if need be. Okay, so um, about the badging website, what's the progress so far? Um, I think Kinsley, you can you can add a link to the um to the to the Figma, like what we've done so far. Um, while probably you can add a link there. While I I think I missed on we talking about. I think I I will share the prototype link for the landing page, so we can all. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Drop the link in the chat. Yeah. Okay. While you're while you're getting it, um, I think I'll go back to I was going to talk about my journey in chaos before I my internet got disconnected. Got disconnected. So um yeah, uh thank you, Precious, for sharing your journey um in chaos and how you found chaos. And like I think like I said earlier, the the motivation for trying to for us trying to like get these stories from people and people sharing these stories is to motivate other people that are joining because then we know chaos has like a lot of there are a lot of um there are a lot of projects in chaos and it's um quite easy to it's quite easy to get get lost in the process of trying to find things so why I talked about these people sharing these stories is to motivate people and um, let you know that you can find your food and find where you can contribute to. So how how I started um, contributing to um, chaos was in I said contributing to chaos in 2020. That was back in 2020 when um, I started looking for open source projects that I could find and I found chaos through through um someone someone told me about uh, i was looking for projects to contribute to then when um oscar fest um open source community africa was doing like a they were doing a uh a challenge to find open source projects to contribute to and then you can get the domain name so i found chaos from uh, one of the projects i found at the time one of the maintainers his name is shri so when I found chaos, I joined the meeting. It was a it was the badging meeting that was going on that time. I just joined a random meeting and I didn't even know what everybody was talking about. And then I when I joined the meeting, I joined the Slack. I stayed, I think I stayed for about three months before I even started making any contribution. I was just there because I was still trying to understand what was going on. And that time I met, there was um, an outreach student, Tola, that was contributing, and it was in Nigeria. And it was the only Nigerian then that was contributing to Chaos. And I talked with him. He was doing his outreach project, which was um, to make translations, because Chaos has a lot of documentation to translate, to create like a translation model, to translate um, our docs to other languages. So that was um, Tola's outreach project. And then I message Tola and I was like okay I want to contribute how do I start contributing um Tola told me about how to contribute and I still stayed I was still trying to figure things out I was still trying to understand what it is so this goes to telling you that it's okay to take your time to understand how an open source organization works when you when you when you go in it's okay to take your time to understand how it how everything works before you start contributing because if you do not understand you can't contribute right so then the badging initiative had just started up um so i said 
going for the meetings. I, I started actively contributing in 2021. I found it in 2020, but I started actively contributing last year. Uh, and when I I started joining the DEI working group meeting. Um, we have like different working groups in chaos that focus on metrics. So the first, the working group I joined then was, I started with was DEI working group, right? So you see how I, from, from not knowing anything, I found somewhere to stick to, um, to make my contribution. And when I started attending the meetings, I, I had a vague idea about what metrics were and, what what does it mean to uh, measure community health? I, I I had a vague idea of metrics, but when we were having one of the meetings, I I we were kind of like looking for metrics that we could um talk about, and then I I brought up an idea, and before I brought up that idea, it was it was a tough thing for me to do because there were so many people on the call, so many people that were like more experienced than I was, and it was really tough for me to muster that courage to you know raise my hand up and say something right would it make sense would it not make sense but eventually i i brought out the idea that okay that's um born out is something that's really common um in open source communities and why do we know why should is there any metric that kind of like um talks about burnout in open source projects like project burnout and they were like that's a really good idea trust me i didn't know what i was saying but I, I I I didn't know it made sense, right? And then everybody said it made sense. And it was like, okay, let's start working on the metric. Let's start working on the burnout metric. And that's how we <laughs> found something to contribute to. And I was working with, I was constantly like attending the meetings and training um, my contributions about what burnout means and how we can shape the metric to speak to people that are struggling with burnout in open source communities. So that's how I said um, actively contributing from that burnout metric. And then I said finding other things to make better in the community, you know, um, I said engaging myself more with the badging project. And then we saw that um, this year, we saw that, you know, contributions, I think it's from Outreach that we really, Outreach this year, we had a lot of African applicants from Outreach. Um, and then um, what the co-founder said, um, it would be really nice to, you know, have Chaos Africa. And that's how Chaos Africa started. And I was giving that um, uh, to kind of like lead the efforts with the community. So that's um, a roundup of like how I stay contributing to chaos and how I stay sticking to one thing. And over time, I stay finding other things to kind of like contribute to, kind of to make um, easy. And along the line, we've had a lot of a, a lot of uh, really important contributions. Even with this short period with Chaos Africa, we we've had like um, we initially started with uh, before Chaos Africa. There there are some. Uh, mentees from Shikoda Africa that built a bot, the bot that welcomes everybody when they come in. Um, Imide and Precious built that bot. Then we also have like Outreachy, um, uh, Precious, who that just talked about her own journey. We also have some folks um, in the design group. They are working on like the website we designed, Belema, Maxwell. And then we, we, have, we have been having these things. And even in this short period of three months, I think this is the third month of Chaos Africa and we've had very um, good contributions still. And I am sure that as time goes on, um, everybody will come to the same page where people would know like, okay, this is where I can stick in, this is where I can contribute. So give yourself that time to understand things, take that time to understand how Chaos works and you know, ask questions, feel free to feel free to DM people and or even ask questions on the Chaos Africa channel link. Um, feel free to ask questions. Feel free to um, ask questions here on the call. Um, thank you, um, Ola Dili, for asking that question to write about outreach. Feel free to ask questions anytime. Feel free to always drop something on the agenda item to that we can talk about. If something that's um, a bother to you, a problem that you see that we could solve, because Chaos Africa is mainly about um, what we are doing is. Uh, trying to find ways to sustain or to um, solve challenges that African open source contributors face. So if you have any idea, any challenge that you have seen that we, we could solve or any 
any way, anyhow we could go about it, um, please definitely drop it in. We definitely want to hear it. We definitely want to go at it. So, um, yeah, so that's how I said contributing. I said a lot of things in, I think I've taken more than 10 minutes, but I, I hope that was, uh, that was motivating. I think, is Anita still here? It was. I think maybe you still need to, uh, maybe, I don't know, like a Twitter space or something and talk about. Um, yeah, we, and we, share we your have, journey and our, our co-host, our, our host is no longer here, Um, Anita. I think she kind of okay. dropped. Okay, let me okay, just share. Um, if you have, do you have a question? Um, yeah, maybe a question for you later, but I just wanted to, because I shared the link while um while you were talking, the budging website, the link to the budging website. Okay. So please if you if you have comments, you know, at the moment and all I think you can drop comments to what you have at the moment. So and um currently still talking about not to have a lot to have the invite link for a friend okay the chaos slack link but i think that's what the person is asking for okay i'll send you the link um i'll send you the slack link to okay so um this is what kinsley has been working on for the badging website um can you do I'll... full screen uh Ruth? okay yeah let me do full um Fit the screen, right? I don't know how to use Figma. Yeah, so. fit, fit the screen. Use fit the screen. Is it better now? Oh, no, no, the second one, the second one. Sorry. Go on. Okay. No problem. Um, fit uh, with. Yeah, fit, fit, yeah. Fit with. Try it out. Is it better you know, now? I think you, maybe uh, if others can see, then it's cool. I don't know. I know because your screen, your monitor is. <laughs> 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 Can I remember? <laughs> um, okay, so but then, um, oh, thank you. I, I can see the feedback, but then it's actually still open to our reviews, uh, uh, you know, contributions and all, you know, in the course of the week, too. Um, Delight has actually been doing a great work actually sharing, um, some content, you know, some of which I can't really criticize so much because. I, I didn't really have so much to work with. But then um, um, if maybe this is now a call to maybe uh, if you are a content writer, I guess, or something, and um, and you can also maybe liaise with maybe uh, Delight or uh, Ruth to, you know, so we still need, I think, more, more content for other pages. We have a battles. This is just a landing page. So we have the uh, battles page and other pages, uh, pages coming up. Um, there are already wireframes for it. So, but just an overview of this now is uh, before now, you know, so event owners always have to go to GitHub, you know, sign up to get the event badge, you know, by chaos and all. But then the whole idea is that, uh, why do I have to sign up on GitHub just to get my event bashed and all that? You know, people don't even go back, they just sign up on GitHub because of that. So we just need to create something, you know, a website like a subdomain to the original Chaos website where you just jump on and it's actually intuitive. Like you see, we are not trying to make anything technical for users. So you can get the basic information you need about budging and then check out the event that has been bashed and all that that and maybe um of course also get your own event apply for the chaos batch and all but then um i think um delight also mentioned something i don't know if that if it's actually necessary or maybe we discuss it here on this or maybe much later so he said if we could have a session where i don't know people that whose events has been bashed, maybe just make a comment on, or maybe give their reviews of chaos, like a testimonial or something, you know? Mm -hmm. So I, I, don't, I don't know, that page. was Delight's suggestion, sorry? Will it be on the homepage? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, maybe okay. after frequently asked questions, so. Okay, before the footer. Yes, before the footer, so yeah. he 
suggested that. Uh, uh, delight, I don't know if that was what you're trying to imply. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say, actually, yeah. Um, because okay. I think um, one of the things that was added in when we were doing the wireframe was the badge, the badger, and the, the wheel. So um, I would ask you that should be the remaining thing um, that should be added at the home page. So um, we also um, we also want to ask you, Ruth, um, we are trying to suggest if it's going to work, you are going to add the review at the home page. I'm trying to ask you what would be the head and like, what kind of shop would you write on top of the review um, icon or something like that? Um, so which icon are you talking about? Like, like okay, let me give an example. Like um, what um, customer says if it's in a shopping website, so what will it be like in the review session? Oh, in a, in a, I, I have to think of that. I don't have that at the top of my head. But yeah, I'll think of that. That's, um, I, I think doing that is, would be really great for other conference applicants to kind of see how um, DEI badging kind of like helps their events, right? So I, I'll think of that and I'll get back to you and- uh, I think that makes and, sense. Yeah. Okay. Um, on I think on this topic, there's something since Enoch is here because Enoch is working on the badging board. So Enoch, I want to ask a question. Um, Enoch, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Okay, great. So the question I want to ask is, um, so with the with the application process on badging, right? Um, applicants always have to sign in with GitHub to complete the process. Right. Yep. And yep. um which is which is um not really inclusive because um say for example I do not have a GitHub account, I always have to go and put um I always have to go and like um sign up on GitHub. Say um for example, I do not want to do that. Um uh what are the options that we could use to make that kind of like inclusive for other people? Um I thought of Google signing, um, but another thing is we have to, there's, there should be a way to facilitate the process or to keep up with the process because then when we have the issue, um, reviewers are able to go review the issue and all that stuff. Um, but with Google signing, we might not be able to keep up with the process. Even if we have like, say this page where we have applied for a badge, if the applicant fills in the badge, um, the, their details, um and it opens up and it opens up an issue on GitHub. That's the flow. But if I don't want to sign in with GitHub, what other what other things can we do to make that kind of like inclusive and not just restrict applicants to using GitHub? Yeah, sure. Um, um first I I'm I'm impressed with the design and also I already have a lot of suggestions and comments to make. So I hope maybe someone invites me to that um Slack channel or Okay, sure. Um, I will. Yep. So that um, I can know. join in and we collaborate. Um, about your question, the fact is um, the most tricky thing here is the collaboration between the applicant and also the reviewer, because um, I find the I, I find um, um, not going to GitHub if you're an applicant very easy to do, but the communication that um, happens between the applicant and the reviewer is something that um, may need looking into. Unless, like um, Mart, um, I don't know whether some, but I'm sure some of the folks here know Mart, Mart Snell. Um, he, we, we were, we were thinking to of updating the board, the checklist of um, the the badging review with the new metrics so that um, we make it so robust during the application process that there is nothing um, we would want to ask the applicant. So I'm thinking that could be the only solution now to, mm -hmm. to, to, to update the, the checklist so that um, when, the, when the applicant is filling in, they have filled in enough information as possible to, 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 to really help out with the, with the review or, mm -hmm. but, but the, the, the most crude way would be dedicating maybe one, <laughs> one page to the review process and um, seeing how to carry the automation from GitHub to, to this page, which is really a very 
um, a far-fetched thought that I'm thinking of that may not be for now. But yeah. um, for now, <laughs> it's 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 tricky. And um, if we figure out how we can communicate to to the applicants without going to GitHub, that will be so easy to integrate here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's that's yeah. really. I think I'll co also connect with you because I had one um, thought about um, a portal um, where yeah, yeah. funds get to like manage the whole process from the portal. So we they do not necessarily need to um, sign in with GitHub. So they, they just sign in with their Gmail and manage the process. And yeah, then yeah. Can pull, pull that portal information from that portal to a particular GitHub repository. But that's, I'll connect cool. with you to kind of like, uh, discuss the idea with you and you can think about it like a, a third version or something later on cool um maybe the other thing that we need to take care of um well we'll discuss the other things um as um this develops um budging is um a project under um managed by chaos but also under the linux foundation um, mm -hmm. and, um chaos has been so much involved with um, using the Re Linux Foundation has a, a WordPress template that is used for creating websites, mm -hmm. and um, for the for the for the few website development um, meetings I've been to as part of Chaos, not um, Chaos Africa, um, there was a discussion of having um, all the other groups that are all the other um, projects that are related with Chaos having subdomains on the main domain, which is Chaos. Um, dot community so like um handbook.chaos.community um budging.chaos.community i'm not sure how that is developing um mm -hmm. but i hope that while we make these designs we put into um consideration or maybe we work with the with the with the with the working group that is involved with um the whole website redesign to see how best this um, may be implemented without maybe going um outside the outside the, 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 the without breaking any rules or without breaking um, any of um, the processes yeah sure um we're also in contact i think this is going to be like a subdomain of the chaos the community and i will be in contact with sean and discussing like domain things i think i um discussed it with elizabeth earlier this week yeah. so thank you for raising that i think hope you have your hand raised i think you have a question or Good afternoon. Can everyone hear me? Yes, we can. Hope. Um, like my question is like, okay, I'm new. This is the first time I'm joining this meeting, and I really don't even understand many of the stuff that is going on. I know process is about just contributing whatever you can do. So I'm like, okay, I could do Python. I'm a data scientist, and machine learning. So like, how can someone like me fit into open source? Like, contribute to these projects that like I'm saying, right? Because I believe it's going to have a backend thing. So, mm -hmm. like, how can people like us contribute? Because I'm very sure it's not going to be, only, I'm not going to be the only data scientist or machine learning. Yeah. Totally. And thank you for your question. So, we have like Python, there's the software we have that is written on Python, that runs on Python. And that's what um, Precious is currently writing documentation for. Um, so, um, there's Augur, there's Bimo Lab, um, and I would add you to the, so if you want to contribute with Python, there's Augur and Grimo Lab um, to contribute to, right, um, as a data scientist, it's kind of like a tool that, um, tr forgive me if I get this wrong, you know, because it's a tool that kind of like analyzes and gives you um, analytics to metrics right um so we have python um, if you're if you're like a python developer or a data scientist those two projects are like that's what i would recommend and um pressure is currently kind of smoothening the docs for all guards to so that people will be able to contribute so i'll direct you to precious first and um there's also a software tutoring um there's a software tutoring um session that holds every other friday bi-weekly i think the next one is 
the next one is in it's next week saturday i'd also try to i think the last time we did not have that because we kept missing mixing the the uh meeting links sean was in another meeting and we were in another meeting so i'll try to fix that so that we would have like and i'm also looking forward to having um other like software like the bots having like a workshop session where developers can understand how they can contribute to the bots even when you're also not like writing python so i'm still trying to um find those channels and help everyone as much as i can uh, to make things easy for people to find stuff so um i, I hope that kind of like answers your question we have like limited time um yeah so yeah i'll yeah. connect with yeah. you later um belema have your hand raised Okay, um, good everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, um, it's based on the website. Like, it's really, really nice. I actually like it. And it's very simple and nice. But I want to comment on the uh, frequently asked question part. Okay, it's like designed like, um, yeah, designed like questions. So I was thinking maybe it would be made more pronounced. So okay. when you yeah, make more pronounced, so somebody might easily not notice it. So maybe if the questions are put in boxes, it will be easier to like notice. But the okay. website is actually good. Okay, thank you for um Kinsley. I think you noticed that you noted that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I noted that. And and also maybe um by the time we are done, of course everything will also be we we'll test it. We we'll just require some persons. Maybe some persons here can also help us conduct usability testing. Thank you, thank you, but I've taken down the feedback. Thank you, thank you so much, Belema. Okay. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Okay, we are we're running out of time, and there's another meeting by four p.m. Right, but let's let's just quickly talk about this. Um, and then we go back to this um, survey. I think everybody will have to go and comment on it later. But we'll be having like our first Twitter space um, and we are really excited. Um, we'll be having, we'll be talking about um, challenges Africans, uh, African open source contributors face in Africa. Um, so we'll be talking about those challenges um, on this Twitter space. And the speakers will be Samson, uh, Ada, um, Bolaji and um, Mesrayeme. Um, she's from Ghana. So these are the speakers. It's um the this is the flyer design. Um, let me go to it very quickly. Needed to my system is hanging. Trying to load it up. So that's the flyer design. You can go to, you can navigate to it and see it. Um, I'm going to be hosting and um, Oma is going to be co-hosting. Then this is the space link. So you can click on the Twitter space and kind of like set a reminder and you can also share it as well. So um, I think in the next, we, we, I think we'll have the next meeting before, before the, um, before the, um, before uh, we'll have the Twitter space, I think before the next meeting. So I'll update everybody on the Slack. Hi, Sean, we are almost rounding up. Yeah, hey, uh, take your time, take your time. Sure, so this, so please, uh, I think the important thing, like the action item is please everybody, like kind of share the space link um, and invite other people because we'll be having speakers that have kind of like the uh, space for quite a long time now, like, Samsung and Samson and um Adar, they are the co they are the founders of Open Source Community Africa. So please share the link um and try to um also attend the space. I think the last thing is that uh, we've been putting together um kind of like a survey question that we could ask during the space. Um, and let me put this together. So please, you can check the link. I think someone is interrupting. I don't know. Um, um, Delight, please, could you mute? I'm not oh, able to. Sorry. Sorry for that. No problem. Sure. Um, so this is the um, 
you can come here and kind of like give your thoughts on the survey question. So during this space, we'll be sharing the survey for people to kind of, um, we will put this in the form. So we will share this survey uh, for people so you can put in your thoughts. I see Adinka is already putting in a lot of thoughts here, um, a lot of her um, feedback on the form. So this is what we would use to start on solving the first challenge would think the most popular challenge would get from this uh, form. So please, you can um, put in your, this link is on the, on the meeting minutes. So you can put in your thoughts. I think uh, that's all. Does anyone have like any question in the next two minutes? Hi. Okay, hi, Midi. Yeah, I have a question. Okay, so this okay. website has been there's going to be built. When will it start it? Okay. Um, so for the website, um once um once the design, I think the landing page, once the landing page is done, um we can start it up. Um I I would just first it with the developers that would be building to start up. But once the landing, once um Kinsley is done with the landing page, we can start and to continue with the other pages. I think Kinsley, am I correct? So that means yes. you inform developers. Is there a group for developers? So yes. Aside from the one on um, the chaos uh, African developers, or is there any other one? No, that's the Slack channel. So would all the um, information will go there. I think you're on that Slack channel, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I think the information will pass there. And I think we we resolved on using React for it to build it. So okay, we're waiting for the information. Thank you. Okay. Um is there any other question? <coughs> Okay, since there's no question, thank you everyone for joining. Uh, I really appreciate it. Was, we had a lot of people today and I hope it keeps happening. Um, I'll see you all later, maybe on the on the Twitter space on the 18th of August. This, on the 18th of August, 6 p.m. West African time. So I'll see you all there or in our next meeting. So bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Are the folks left here waiting for the value working group? Hey, Tony. Hey, Sean. Hey, Tony. It's Elizabeth. Hey, Elizabeth. I'm going to leave my camera off because I haven't showered in literally like three days. So <laughs> I'm not yeah, going to leave that. Moving is one of those things where. I, I get that. Uh, that was how I was until about an hour ago. <laughs> I had good intentions. I just got busy this morning. And I didn't yeah. Do it. All good. Yeah, I, I had a I had COVID back in the spring and it like knocked me out for like three or four days. It was pretty bad. And uh, thank goodness for vaccinations. And today I woke up like feeling like that happened again. And so, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, I hope not, Tony. It's I haven't even I had gone Tony. anywhere. I don't go anywhere. <laughs> Somehow it finds you though. I don't yeah. know. Kind of, it's kind of scary. Well, I hope you're feeling better soon. Yeah, I just going to try and get through this. And fortunately I don't have any meetings for the rest of the day and I've got a bunch of tech docs to write. So I can just kind of like hunker down and write.
I don't know if you all saw, but uh, Vinod is not going to be able to make it again today. So um, I volunteered here to do the agenda. Oh, good. Someone copied that. Was that you, Sean? I did. Yeah. Awesome. I have not done my stuff yet, but yeah. Whenever we want to start, I'll start recording. Yeah. Um, okay. I think it already is, but. Oh yeah, my it was it recording for yeah I guess it is recording. Let's I'll stop oh, the recording. It is.